I want you to tell everybody what your name is. My name is Kenny. One look at this video, and it's easy to see Kenny Sharp had no idea what was going on. Without warning, Pastor Curtis Moak pulled Kenny up to the altar when he walked in with the pizza. Marcos is one that we frequent in town and got to know the manager a little bit, and I trusted him, so contacted him and told him what I wanted to do. And he said, I got, I got the guy in mind and uh, set it up to deliver at 1130 on Sunday morning. In shock, Kenny just went with the flow and answered the pastor's questions. Awesome. Do you have children? A 16-year-old boy and an 11-year-old boy. Awesome. Good deal. Well, I can tell you right now, kids are expensive, aren't they? Uh, especially when uh, the 16-year-old is autistic and the 11-year-old, uh, they found a lesion on his brain. Pastor Curtis didn't tell the congregation what he was about to do next. However, he well, says he trusted them right to deliver. Okay. He asked First the church give to give a second deal. offering, but this time all the money would go right. to Kenny. Right. So let's bless Kenny and let's give to him because he's a man who's in need and we're going to give. With the message that I presented for the morning, which was an a Christ-centered message that it's it's better to give than receive, um, that we ended up doing this spontaneously. Pastor Curtis says it turns out the $3,000 collected was just what Kenny and his family needed to help with car repairs. And then found out later that they had a GoFundMe for $2,800 to help get their car up and running because as a pizza guy, he really needs the transportation for his job. Pastor Curtis is hoping Kenny won't have to pay taxes on the gift, but if he does, he says the church will pay for that too. From Hamilton, Janelle Walton, WLWT News 5.